Welcome again. When I was teaching, every year that I came to the end of the school year, I would really be sad that I was um, graduating my class and they were moving away from me because I loved them so much. And every year, I could not imagine loving my next group of children as much as I loved the class I had. And of course, I'd welcome them in and I'd be very enthusiastic and very um, ready to embrace the new year. But I always wondered, really, could I love them as much as I, I love the last bunch? And then something magical would happen. And sure enough, they would become my babies. And I just added them into my heart. So as I was moving here, I was thrilled, thrilled to come here because I knew this school was full of heart. And yet I was really worried about whether or not I could love another school as much as the one I had had before. And once again, that magic happened. And this school has become my home. And I'm so happy to be here and see all of you here tonight. It, it's just amazing, amazing. This community is so strong. So I need to take a couple of minutes just to brag about what is going on at the school. First of all, the school is growing. We have 28 new students here from preschool through middle school. It really is it's awesome. Um, I wanted to end the school year with 100 students. And I, I tease people that I was maybe willing to accept a dog or two just to count. But in the end, we have real children here. And 100 of them um, are part of our B'nai Shalom family now. And we have many, many, many more prospects for next year. Again, from preschool, lower school, and to middle school. Children are coming in throughout the entire school year. And so we are very, very proud to have um, that part of this community in this school. We added several new programs to um, ensure that not only were we bringing in new students, but that the students that we had felt appreciated and wanted to continue to stay and grow up at the school. So we had a few different programs on Sundays called Sunday Fun Days. One was a science program that our upper school students actually led. They created the experiments and ran the whole thing. And the next one was in our gym. And it was, again, a winter day on a Sunday, and the upper school students um, took part in all of those activities along with Coach D and um, led that as well. And we had very, very strong turnouts in both of those programs. We also um, had a Monday stay and play for new parents to come and have a place to, to gather together, to have their children play and to be able to talk with another adult. And um, we are really hoping that they're going to join our family as well. Um, I hope you've all had a chance to see some of our new marketing materials. We have a brand new logo. And thank you to the marketing committee for developing that and a new view book. So if you haven't had a chance to see it, um, we have that in the front of the school. Please, please, please take a look. Um, we have a phenomenal faculty, as you can imagine, a phenomenal. As much as I love getting up every day and coming to work to see the children, I enjoy working with this faculty. They are so dedicated and so loving and so committed to academic excellence. And speaking of academic excellence, I have been um, looking at our program, which is already extremely strong, and thinking about tweaking a few things. So we'll bring in some new assessments next year, new math curriculum, and we're excited to get started on that. I've been working with a variety of teams of staff and faculty, which has been amazing for me and just keeps me motivated and going every single day. And we are I'm also hiring a few new teachers that will be added to the faculty, and we're excited to bring them on board as well. So tonight, I am, I'm as excited as you are to be part of Zimmer Island to see this entire show. And um, I want you to, again, sit back, relax, and enjoy every minute of it.
Bruhim Habaim, and welcome to B'nai Shalom's 22nd Annual Zimriyah Song and Dance Festival. We three eighth graders will be your MCs for tonight's program. Today is Yom HaAzmaut. We celebrate the 66 years of a modern Jewish state, Israel. What a perfect occasion for our Zimriyah. You may not know this, but we are actually going to Israel for the very first time next Monday. Sit back, relax, silence your cell phones, and get ready to enjoy our talented and enthusiastic B'nai Shalomis perform. Preschool and kindergarten parents, please collect your children at the foot of the stage after their numbers. Kitati Lan, our pre-kindergartners, will now lead us in singing the Star Spangled Banner, followed by Ganyel Adim, our kindergarten, singing Hatikva. Please rise. with our precocious bilingual B'nai Shalom Preschool. Kitat Karim, Preschool 2-3, will sing Uga Uga, a, nur a nursery song that says, round and round we go. We celebrate in a circle, twirling round and round. We sit and we stand.
is learning about how to be a good friend. Their song, Simiya Dev Beradi, means put your hand in mine. I am yours and you are mine.
the memory of Arik Einstein, who died this past November. Arik Einstein was an Israeli singer and songwriter who had a profound influence on Israeli folk and rock music. His ballads became modern Israeli anthems, and his popularity never waned from the time he began recording. At B'nai Shalom, we know and love his music, as you soon will hear. Kindergarten, first and fourth grades present Ruach Ruach, a song about the wind. Wind, wind, why don't you ever rest? special presentation. Here I am. Yeah. I don't know if any of you know this, but Judy Groner recruited me to come here to be the head of school. We were both at a conference together, and she invited me to tea, and she told me about all the wonderful things that happened in the school. And um, I remember that you said to me, Judy, that I would love this school, and I do. So thank you, thank you so much. Judy has given the school many, 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 many years of all of her energy and all of her heart and all of her brain power. And we are so lucky to have all of that as part of our, our day. And Jewishly, everything that Judy has built here will always remain a part of this school and as strong as ever. Judaic studies, 
Hebrew, and all of the values will be always embedded in the hearts, minds, and souls of our students. At this time, I would like to introduce you to Aaron Strasser, who has a very special announcement. Thank you, Susan. It's uh, my pleasure to be with all of you this evening to share some exciting news about our fundraising efforts to honor Judy Gruner. With the support of so many generous donors representing our current and former parents, our alumni, and members of, the, of our greater community, I am proud to announce that we have raised just shy of $42,000 for the Judy Groner Curriculum Fund. The dollars raised for this fund will be used for curricular and technological enhancements in the, both the secular and Jewish study programs. I want to thank all of you who have donated to this effort. And Please know that we will continue to accept donations through the end of the academic year. So, um, and it is now my pleasure to introduce a woman who certainly needs no introduction in this room. Uh, she's a former president of the Jewish Federations of North America, the Greensboro Jewish Federation, of course, B'nai Shalom Day School, a true friend and supporter of our school, Kathy Manning. She's highly skilled in the fields of Jewish and secular education. She is a leader in the world of Jewish day school education, and she's raised the standards in our school during her tenure here. Judy is wise and thoughtful and fair. She treats everyone with dignity and respect. And most important, Judy is a wonderful role model of how to lead a meaningful and compassionate Jewish life while still being part of the secular world. Our children, are more literate and proud Jews because of what they have learned from Judy. All of us on this stage have been privileged to work closely with Judy, most as board members, all as supporters of B'nai Shalom. We feel so strongly about wanting to thank Judy for all she's done that we thought it only fitting to put our words, our words of thanks to music. So Judy, let me introduce the B'nai Shalom Alumni Board that's B O A R D, not B O R E T. Same as <laughs> Marilyn Chandler, Executive Director of the Greensboro Jewish Federation. Thank you. Caroline Brown, past board member. Anita Hyman, past board president. Kathy Evanson, past board member. Bauer, past board member. <laughs> Kathy Krauss, past board president. <laughs> and Rose Ackerman, past board vice president. <laughs> and now we will attempt something that has never been done on this stage before. <laughs> Thank 
things that she has taught us. What's right and what's wrong, the things that we all should know. Dozens of kids she's led on trips to Israel. Dozens of Zimbria she's led with flair. Oh, sailors that she has made, the knowledge that she displays, the love that she has shown to Bene Shalom. So we want to thank our friend and mentor Designed by Valerie Resnick, the Carmel de Rajas. This piece is called Valerie's Vineyard and has grape leaves displayed upon it. Isaiah compares Israel to a vineyard which God has lovingly tended. Judy, you have given your all to tend the B'nai Shalom Garden of Students. You have been there every step along the way from planting seeds to creating the right growing conditions to organically sprouting seedlings. You have planted the vineyard, harvested the first fruits, and educated an entire generation of Greensboro's finest. Like great wine, and with a strong Jewish and secular education, our young people will continue to improve with age. You have prepared our students to be proud of their Jewish identities, proud of Israel, lovers of the Hebrew language, and of a life filled with meaningful Jewish rituals. Every year at Hanukkah, we as a B'nai Shalom community sing the song written by Peter, Paul, and Mary, Light One Candle. The chorus goes like this. Don't let the light go out. It lasted for so many years. Don't let the light go out. Let it shine through our love and our tears. Judy, we have tremendous love and admiration for you. And we all tonight shed some tears about your departure. We know that you will continue to light the lights of the Hanukkah menorah and plant new vineyards for the students, faculty, and staff of the Perelman Jewish Day School in Philadelphia, to which you are headed. Bahaslacha and all of our life.
Kindergarten parents, please pick up, pick up your children at the bottom of the stage after this song.
Even though it's cold and rainy in the winter, we hope for a good year, for a peaceful year. This classic Arik Einstein number will be performed by Kitot Bet, Gimel, and Dali, grades 2 through 4. In the elves' country, the elves march, march around in formation, fly kites, and at the end of the day, take off their uniforms and go to sleep. Just like us! Kitod Aleph, Bed, Hay, and Vam sing, Bimdinat Hagamadi.
Pinsker to present this year's Irv Pinsker Award. Thank you very much. Uh, it's with much pleasure that I get to remember my father, who was the first headmaster and president volunteer of B'nai Shalom, who didn't have a child here or a grandchild, but believed that B'nai Shalom was essential to the enrichment of Jewish life here in Greensboro, which it has been and will continue to be. The Irv Pinsker Award is given by the B'nai Shalom Board of Trustees to someone whose volunteer efforts on behalf of our school are simply extraordinary. It started in 1984 with Sue Green. It's been given to grandparents Polly Strasser, Sidney Gray, Leonard and Toby Kaplan, and many board members such as Lou Weinstock, who have served over the years and done exceptional things for our school. Our winners this year give volunteer time as teachers, not just as teachers, but special teachers, who spend one-on-one -on -one time with students and books. These volunteers do not just teach reading, they teach about life. Now I also get to embarrass them because I have a lot more to say, so I would like to have Stuart and Barbara Teachman come up with us.